भारत माता की भारत माता की आवाज तो आएगी ना शक्तिशाली नागालैंड है ना भारत माता की हैप्पी आहोना फेस्टिवल टू समाप्राय आज की इस समाप्त में भर्षुएली जुड़े हुए हमारी सभी भारतीय जनता पार्टी की कार्यकर्ता की अति प्रिय नेता और राष्ट्रीय समिति की परम आदरणीय अध्यक्ष सध्य जेपी नड्डा जी और हमारी इस सभागृह में उपस्थित हमारी सबकी प्रिय नेशनल जॉइंट जनरल सेक्रेटरी श्री प्रकाश जी और हमारी नॉर्थ ईस्ट की इंचार्ज नेशनल स्पोक्स पार्सन संबित पात्रा जी जनरल सेक्रेटरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अभय गिरी जी और राज्यसभा की संसद श्रीमती कन्या जी यहां उपस्थित सभी भारतीय जनता पार्टी नागालैंड प्रदेश की इस तमाम कार्यकर्ता बंधुगण सबसे पहले मैं आप सबको हृदय से अभिनंदन देता हूं आप लोगों ने मेहनत किया एकजुट होकर जिसके वजह से ये कार्यालय बने तो मुझे लगता है कि आज जो आपको सपोर्ट मिला नेशनल प्रेसिडेंट जेपी नड्डा जी से पूर्व प्रेसिडेंट वर्तमान देश के बहादुर नेता गृहमंत्री अमित शाह जी से आज आप लोगों ने इस सपने को अपने साकार किया तो इसके लिए मैं आप सबको अभिनंदन देता हूं नागालैंड देश के अंदर एक बड़े शक्तिशाली प्रदेश है यही की जनता बहुत साहसी है इसलिए बहुत डिटरमाइंड है आप लोगों का अलग सा पैसा नहीं ये देश की अमानत है देश की शक्ति का आधार है इसलिए परम आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने हमें कहा है कि बाय 2047 अगले 25 साल के अंदर वी आर टू मेक इंडिया सेल्फ रिलायंट नेशन आत्मनिर्भर भारत सेल्फ रिलायंट इंडिया बनाने के लिए सेल्फ रिलायंट नागालैंड भी बनना होगा आत्मनिर्भर नागालैंड बनना होगा इसके लिए आप लोगों को अगले दिनों में निष्ठापूर्वक मेहनत करना होगा आप तैयार है तैयार है तो इसलिए मैं तो यही चाहूंगा कि हमारी देश के आदर्श बड़ी नेता विश्व के सबसे लोकप्रिय नेता प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने आज नॉर्थ ईस्ट को बढ़ावा देने के लिए नॉर्थ ईस्ट को विकास के रास्ते पर तेज से ले जाने के लिए उन्होंने पिछले आठ साल जो निरंतर मेहनत की है हम सब लोगों ने देखा है और इसके फल हम सबको मिल चुके हैं इसलिए मैं मानता हूं उत्तर पूर्व की बाकी सात स्टेट का साथ साथ नागालैंड भी प्रगति की रास्ते पर तेज से सड़े और तेज से सड़ने के लिए हम सबको मेहनत करना होगा जैसे परम आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने कहा है सबका साथ सबका विकास सबका विश्वास और सबका प्रयास यानी कि सबको आपने कर्तव्य निष्ठापूर्वक निभाने होंगे और इसके लिए अगर हम प्रतिबद्ध हो जाए तो हमारा शक्ति दुगुना होगा और हमारे लिए जो दिशा जो लक्ष्य दिए गए हैं इस लक्ष्य को हम प्राप्त कर सकते हैं 
तो आज मोदी जी ने नॉर्थ ईस्ट को जैसे मान्यता दी है इसके पहले कांग्रेस कम से कम सात साल तक राज किया इन द लॉन्गेस्ट पीरियड ऑफ सिक्सटी इयर्स कांग्रेस टोटली नेग्लेक्टेड दिस पार्ट ऑफ दी कंट्री एज ए रिजल्ट वी फील टोटली आइसोलेटेड इट नॉट एंड ह्यूमेटेड वी डिंट हैव एनी पोजिशन इन द कंट्री बट इन द लास्ट एट ईयर्स वी हैव सीन हाउ ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी जी हैज स्पेस फॉर आवर कंफर्टेबल accommodation and how he has created provision for our upliftment promotion in all the sector of human activity whether it is education connectivity communication culture tourism in all sector it is modi ji who has put his best possible effort to promote us now and the entire along with the other part of the country the entire north is is progressing fast and that is why i am confident that all the members of bjp of nagaland state if we all put your best possible effort and try to take everybody along of the people of nagaland definitely whatever destination we have targeted to achieve that can be achieved comfortably so that is why bjp government at the center who has been now regarded and known to be a government of performance government of ability government of commitment government of determination government of honesty government of good governance government of taking everybody along so this is the power of modi's personality and his administration his governance and now india is no more a country of ordinary nation now india has become one of the most powerful nation in the world the people of india under the dynamic leadership of honorable prime minister narendra modi ji could able to impress the global society in many area of human activities now you have seen how modi ji has played a very very important role in many global situation whether it is climate change whether it is global tension whether it is kind of integrating the global society in all aspect modi ji has played a very very important role as you have seen through international day of yoga there are many event of uno but out of all this event if you cite up one event which is now become most powerful event of the world that is international day of yoga through this particular practice of yoga modi ji able to integrate the whole global society in the recent past on the day of 21st june when international day of yoga was observed celebrated during that time this is this year i am talking about 21st june of 2022 in the last international day of yoga more than 193 countries took part and more than 125 crores people took part in the practice of yoga that is the power of modi's global personality global vision and greater sense of humanity the theme of the international day of yoga was yoga for humanity yoga for humanity so this is how he could able to create a very very peaceful environment across the globe and he has created goodwill among the people of the world 
So this is how India is playing a very, very important role in the global scenario. Now India become a very, very important global leader. And we are all part of it. Because Modi is our leader. In India, he is the captain. We are all the members. We are proud to be member. Don't you feel like this? Yes. yes. This is what? Now, we have a big role to play in the state of Nagaland. I especially appeal all of you, please talk to every citizen of Nagaland and narrate the success story of last eight years. How Modiji has promoted entire Northeast in the short span of eight years. What are the schemes he has undertaken? What, how the initiative has been perfectly articulated into action, in the field of action. This is the way he has expressed his love and affection, goodwill, sympathy and support to the people of Northeast, as he did in the other part of the country. So I believe with this particular objective, we are all have to put our best possible effort with these words, I want to conclude. I again specific thank to Honorable National President J.P. Nandaji because of his support. Now, everywhere in the country, in all the state, even at the district level also, BGP's new office buildings are coming up. This is the message that मोदी जी ने जो हमें मार्गदर्शन दी है जो दिशा दी है इसके आधारित हमको भी मेहनत करना होगा और नागालैंड की अंदर जो शक्ति बसा हुआ है जो संपदा बसा हुआ है जो संभावना बसा हुआ है इनको उजागर करने के लिए आप सबको हम सबको मेहनत करना होगा इसलिए बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट होना बहुत जरूरी है और बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट रहेगा तो पीस रहेगा शांति रहेगा प्रगति रहेगा विकास रहेगा सद्भावना रहेगा दोस्ती रहेगा सो आई बिलीव यू विल ऑल बी डेफिनेटली वॉकिंग इन दैट डायरेक्शन एंड वी ऑलवेज सेलूक आवर बिलोवेड लीडर्स एंड द मोस्ट पॉपुलर लीडर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी जी फॉर हिज अनटाइरिंग एफर्ट्स फॉर आवर अपीमेंट for our peace and tranquility for our world. Thank you. Jai Hind! Bharat Mata Ki! Bharat Mata Ki! Bharat Mata Ki! India is no longer a country of ordinary nation. India has become an empowered nation because of the relentless efforts of Modi. Thank you, Sir Sonawalji, for warning us with your kind presence. Ladies and gentlemen, now I shall hand over the time to our Honorable State President, Sri Tanjali Inna Good afternoon,
I now request our most honorable member, National President Sri Jagat Prakash Nanda Ji, to address our Karikratas. Thank you. First of all, I would like to address the gathering there at Nagaland. Mr. Tinjim Nang Imna Mailong, the very dynamic and very president of the Nagaland party. Sri Sarvana Sundwalji, the central minister and a senior leader, Sri Sri Prakash Ji, our organizing general secretary, Mr. Sambit Patra Ji, who is the coordinator of the Northeast Eastern States, Sri Nalit Kohli Ji, who is the in charge of Nagaland, Sri Rituraj Chana Ji, who is the co-coordinator of the Northeastern State, Fongon Konyak Ji, the member of the Rajya Sabha and my colleague in Rajya Sabha, Abhay Kiri Ji, who happens to be the organizing secretary of Nagaland and their respected gathering who have gathered for this uh, 
inauguration of the state party office at Upper Adri Kohima. Friends, we all know that uh, today is the greetings to the Sumi community on the occasion of the Ahuna festival. We all know that the Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, this year on the Independence Day, gave his speech from the ramparts of uh, Bedford. And he had talked about Nari Shakti. When I joined the friends from uh, Nagaland, it becomes important to certainly say one thing that uh, our S. Van Van Don Konya, who is the first woman Rajya Sabha member from Nagaland, this picture means that Bharatiya Janata Party, under the dynamic leadership of Prime Minister Modi, has been focused to give or to go forward with the women in power. And in the northeastern state, especially in Nagaland, giving the opportunity to women member to be elected as the Rajya Sabha member speaks volumes about our intention. When I talk about uh, Nagaland, we all know that it is a very distinct culture which we have to understand. Nagaland is home to 16 tribal communities. We also know that massive development of Northeast under Prime Minister Modi ji has taken place. We also know that BJP government in the four of the Northeastern states are there. And today in the office inauguration, I feel it is my honor that today I am inaugurating one of the our biggest offices in Nagaland. I am told that it spreads in over 3,500 square feet area. It is a capacity of holding more than 500 people in a hall. And also I am told that it is an office which has got full modern facilities to facilitate the people and facilitate the party workers for working for the Bharatiya Janata Party. We all know that office is not only an office, it is a sanskar kingdom where a lot of formal and informal education takes place. And because of the formal and informal education, the sanskaras develop. And because of the sanskaras, we are there to dedicate ourselves for the people of Northeast, for the people of the country, and especially to the, for the people of Nagaland. We all know that under the dynamic leadership of Sri Narendra Modi ji, we have been talking about Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas, and Sabka Prayas. I would like to share with you one incident which took place. When Prime Minister Modi became the Prime Minister of the country in 2014, there was a function in 11 Ashoka Road. And at that point of time, Amit Shah ji became the new president of the party. And Prime Minister Modi asked him that what plans do you have to strengthen the party? And then he suggested us that we should have at least one good office in every district of the country. His advice was taken seriously by Amit Shah ji. And we decided it under Amit Shah ji's leadership that we'll go for a mega plan. All state headquarters should have a, a good BJP office. And all district headquarters should also have good BJP office. I would like to share with you that out of 512 planned offices, 237 offices are completed. And this is the 237th office which I am inaugurating. <laughs> and you will also be happy to know that 153, 153 Bharatiya Janata Party offices at the district level and state level is under construction. 
Friends, we have gone a long way in strengthening the party, in improving its capacity, involving people, enrolling people, and that is why we are the world's largest political party. And when I talk about, I share with you that 1.8 million people are uh, 180 million people are our members that we have to understand. The BJP's growth in Nagaland with the massive support of the people of Nagaland, we can say that from 1.8% of vote share in 2013, we have reached 15% of vote share in 2018. And uh, it is happy to know that now we have a double Indian government. We have a grown from pillar to post. And we can say that our primary membership was more than 3.3 lakh people in Nagaland. Today I am also launching our membership drive in Nagaland. I would like to congratulate Mr. Patton, I would like to congratulate Imna along for the in interest they have taken for expanding the base of Bhartiya Janta Party. And the intention is that our mass base, our support base, our ideological base should expand. And with this motive, to increase the foothold of our party in the state. I am told that if you have a target, that at least 4 lakh active members should be there. I congratulate you and I also give my best wishes to you for this membership drive. And I'm not only, I'm, I do not only expect, I am confident that you will go beyond the target of 4 lakh in enrolling the membership drive. The drive will be conducted and told in 60 mandals. A missed call number has also been suggested. And I would like to repeat that number. 829-829-6060 to join DG. This is a unique way which Nagaland has started. That you give a missed call and through that missed call, 829-829-6060 If you press the button and, and uh, go for this number you will certainly be enrolled as the Bharatiya Janata Party and further they will ask for the details which you are going to give to them. Here I would also like to request to, to the people of Nagaland that because that I would request that people should join the Bharatiya Janata Party of the Nagaland unit because it matters and nation goes further. Join BJP for strength and prosperity. Join BJP for progress and unity. Join BJP because we do politics for the purpose of Mahabharati Seva. We are the persons who believe in devoting ourselves, sacrificing ourselves for the people of Nagaland, for the people of North East, for the people of the country. And so, I request the people of Nagaland that we should participate in this membership drive and become the members of Bharti Janata Party. We also know that the BJP party is the party of Karakarta. The workers are the ambassadors of the party. The workers are the impression of the party. You see, Bhartiya Janata Party, the image of the Bhartiya Janata Party is always decided by the standard of the worker of Bhartiya Janata Party. The image of Bhartiya Janata Party is always decided on the activities of Bhartiya Janata Party workers. The image of Bhartiya Janata Party is always decided on the programs and policies being implemented by the workers of the Bhartiya Janata Party. And the quality of performance is also one of the very important factors. So friends, if I feel that we should utilize the services of this office. We should go for a good research way. We should go for a good ideology. We should go for a good library, e-library. We should have information, anything under the sun. That should be our capacity of the, of the, the party and in the, our library. 
We should, as I said, we should go for a good research work. We should also engage people who can give us advice how to develop the vision of, for the people of Nagaland and also to take care that BJP is a cadre-based party with an ideological background. So we have to also fine-tune our cadres with the ideology and we will have to sync with it that the cadre syncs with the ideology. And one thing here, here I would like to share that the other political parties are family parties. The family is the party. But here in Bhakti Janta Party, party itself is a big family. So we are all family members. This is the difference. There is a, it is a family party. Here every person is a, is a member of the big family of the party that we have to understand. And friends, here I would like to share with you that Shama Prasad Mukherjee, Indyal Vajai Ji, Atal Ji, Adwani Ji, Kushabhav Thakre Ji, Urklim Nohar Joshi Ji, all stalwarts have come through who have followed during their time through this organizational methodology. So, here yeah, I would like to also share with you that the Bhakti Janta Party believes in self-aware, all-inclusive, self-samaphasing, all-pervasive. This is what we plan, that we should involve everybody of the society, every section of the society, or no caste, no creed, or no religion, all should be involved in the, in the participation of Bhakti Janta Party. So, Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikha, Sabka Vishwa, Sabka Vyas, then only it is going to be a truth. Then only it is going to be a reality that we have to understand. Friends, here I would like, should also like to share with you that Bhakti Janta Party is a political party. But it does not have only a political focus program. We are more than that. We believe in service also. We believe in social work also. We believe in the issues related to and what are we? We are the organization which works like Seva Hi Samitam. During the Corona time, you know, every political party had been went into isolation. Every political party, some political parties were in ICU, some political parties were never to be seen, some political parties were seen only on Twitter and Facebook. But Crows of our Bhakti Janta Party workers under the direct leadership of Narendra Modi ji, under his direction, we started a program called the Seva Hi Sangatan. And lots and lots of workers worked for Seva Hi Sangatan and served crores of people during the Corona crisis that we have to understand. And we feel proud of it. And I feel proud that the workers of Nagaland. They also did not stay at home. They came out and they served the society to the larger extent and distributed masks, distributed uh, ration kits, distributed foods, food, distributed fruits, and they also took care of the people, uh, older people, for giving them medicine. So, friends, we have we are in party which believes country first, party second, and self last. That we have to understand. Right. Here I would like to also emphasize about our, our political okay. ideological journey. Our ideological journey started in, in 1950s when the Johnson came into existence. And later on in 1980 it was converted into Bharti and Janta Party. We have a long 71 years of ideological journey. And in this ideological journey, I can say with, with confidence that all the political parties of this country have been subjective. They have changed their stand from time to time. They have changed their stand and ideology. Keeping the, the, the fruits which they are going to get out of it, they kept on changing their ideology. They kept on changing their sign. They kept on changing their stance. But it is Bhakti Janta Party in the last 71 years of ideological journey 
we are the only party which has been ideologically consistent this i can say what we said in 1951 we stand and die in 1922 and 2022 what we said in 1960 we stand by even uh, in, in 2020 So it is a consistent political party, ideologically which is there. BJP's contribution towards nation building, nobody can forget, no, nobody can can uh, uh, ignore. You see, in 1952-53 we said, "A nation may do nishan, do vidhan, do samvidhan, nahi chale." Way back in 1952, Shama Prasad Mukherjee laid his life. Dedicated his life in 1953 that one nation, one constitution, one nation, one prime minister, one nation, one flag, and he dedicated himself. He sacrificed his life for or abrogating Article 370. You will be happy to note that it was in 2019 August, 2019 August. 6th of August, when the Article 370 was abrogated and Jammu Kashmir constitutionally became an integral part of the part of the constitution and integral part of the country. This is how we work. We believe in good governance and development. That is our motto. So you will always find wherever there is a Bharatiya Janata Party government, we believe in good governance, delivery, last mile delivery, and development. And here I can say that after 1986, we came out with a new education policy of 2020. This is education policy. Is that such a diverse country with taking everybody into fold and taking everybody's suggestion? I can say that this education policy is developed in such a way that it becomes affordable to common man. This education policy gives equal opportunity to all. This education policy is acceptable to all. This education policy gives education in the more part of languages mother tongue that we have to understand. Friends, this education policy has brought a sea change in the field of education, and in coming times you will find the task force are working at the state level. And in times to come, certainly it will be not India's education policy, but it will be Bharat's education policy. It will be a policy where people from Nagaland will be able to read, write it in your own mother tongue, and that will really give the opportunity for the people to grow and be educated. I would also like to share with you about the national health policy, which came out in 2017. It talks about preventive, promotive, rehabilitative, and cross-reference between the various sciences: Ayurveda, homeopathy, yoga, allopathy, all together under one roof. So it became a very different. It was preventive, promotive, curative, palliative. This type of health policy, a comprehensive health policy. It was not only curative. It should also go for prevention. So for that, what steps have to be taken? So all that has been and uh, has been uh, taken care. And I'm happy to note that Nagaland is also going with the new health uh, health policy that is very a welcome step. Friends, when I'm talking about the good office which you have inaugurated, which we have inaugurated just now, and which will be of use to you, I would also like to share that Prime Minister Modi. Has changed the political culture of the country. There was a time when people used to forget. They used to give slogans, and after one election, another election, they used to come out with new slogans. But Prime Minister Modi gave a government which was proactive, which was responsive, which was responsible, which was always took care of the people, and so we can say. That politics of report card came into existence. There was always a word which was called as anti-incumbency. There was always a word which was called as anti-incumbency. That anti-incumbency was converted into pro-incumbency. 
a new world was coined and that was pro Indian. Now we are seeing successive governments. When we get re elected, it is because of the pro incumbency which takes place. And we also believe in the politics of development. So that has also been given due weight, which I would like to share with you. Friends, the centuries devastating pandemic came in 2020, which is known as COVID. I've been a health minister at the union level and also at the state level. I know that this country has suffered a lot of the health issues. We have seen that this country, the vaccine for smallpox came after 25 years to India. It was invented, but it came 25 years later into India. We have seen that tetanus, the vaccine for tetanus and the medicine for tetanus came after 30 years. We have seen that the polio drops reached India approximately 28 years later. We have seen that Japanese encephalitis, the medicine was, uh, was uh, uh, invented in 1906 in Japan and it came to India in 2006, that is 100 years later. But here I would like to share with you that Corona came and the first case was in January 20 of the 2020. In on April 20th, Prime Minister Modi instituted the task force and also infused our scientists and gave them financial support for research of making a vaccine. And again, I am happy to share with you that during a short span of time of nine months, our scientists, because of the support given by Prime Minister Modi, they came out with not one but two indigenous vaccines by our scientists to this country. Two, two vaccines. And I'm also happy to share with you that we have the proud privilege to say that ours is the party, ours is the nation which has undergone the largest and the fastest vaccination program and 217 crore vaccines have been and minister to 130 crore people. This is the record in itself. We congratulate Honorable Prime Minister and I also congratulate my workers who dedicated themselves in the vaccination program. And in the short span of time of three, four months or five months, we were able to go for 217 double dose vaccines and we have been always also been able to give vaccines to 100 countries under vaccine metric program. And I'm also sure, uh, happy to note that in Nagaland, 17.3 lakh vaccination has been done. 17.3 lakh vaccination. <laughs> Friends, when I talk about Northeast, the contribution of Modi, we all remember. He has brought a sea change and many steps have been taken. I remember the peace accord, the accords like Naga peace accord in 2015, the Tripura peace accord in 2019, the Bodo peace accord in 2020, the Bru Riang peace accord in 2022, the Kargi Anglong peace accord in 2021, the Asan Meghalaya boundary agreement in 2022. The outcomes of the this piece of all is that today 66% of the Armed Forces Special Protection Act has been removed from Northeast India. That we have to understand. There is a decline of 80% of Indian insurgency. There is a reduction of 74% in militancy incidents in 2021. The reserve area notification has been withdrawn from 15 police stations and 7 districts in Nagaland. That we have to understand. This is what we understand, what we mean by bringing peace and peace accord. For the northeastern region, I am happy to share with you that All India Institute of Medical Sciences is coming up at Kohati. 23 air routes are operationalized under Ulan program in the northeast sector. The first ever National University of Sports has been established in Manipur. And I am happy to share again with you 
You are all come from the hilly terrain. I also come from the hilly terrain of Himachal Pradesh. We all know that bamboo was classified as a tree. And because bamboo was classified as a tree, we were not able to take the benefit of bamboo. But under the bamboo mission, Prime Minister Modi made it clear that bamboo will be classified as grass. And for because of that, the bamboo mission has been successful and it has benefited the North East region to the maximum. If I talk about the development taking place for the connectivity and connecting the North East region, India has the longest bridge, the Gola Sahya bridge. I, we also know that connecting Assam with Arunachal Pradesh has been done. We also know that PM Modi has visited the North East at least 50 times. This is a record for any Prime Minister visiting 50 times in short, 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 short of time. I would like to share with you that 4,016 kilometer road projects are currently ongoing in North Eastern region. Around 2,000 projects worth of rupees 22,000 crores have been sanctioned for your region. The NH National Highway Network in the state today has been extended. When I say state means Nagaland, has been extended from 880.68 km in 2014 to 1547 km. The Dimapur railway station was inaugurated more than 100 years ago, that was in 1903. But more than 100 years later, it was Modi ji who gave Nagaland the second railway station, which is known as Shokuri. This is connection. This is development. This is for the people of Nagaland. This is for the people of North East region. That we have to understand. I'm also happy to share with you that 3.3 lakh people have been benefited under Vandhan Yojana. Our tribal friends who have who work day in and day out, their economic development should also be taken care of. And for that, the Vandhan Yojana has been very handy to the tribal people and for their financial support. Recently, some 3,235 crore for highways in Nagaland has been paid. Earlier, 55 works of length of 1,063 kilometers at a cost of 11,711 crore was approved. Friends, 667 kilometers were added in the National Highway Network in Nagaland during in the last six years a growth of nearly 76%. Nagaland got, uh, as I said, that got its second railway, which was uh, in Shokumi. And when I talk about 90 kilometer long broad gauge route from Dhansiri in Assam to Zubza in Kohima, we have to understand how the development has taken place. If I talk about health infrastructure, I would like to share with you again and I would like to communicate to you that 100 crore rupees investments for the Ayush health sector in Nagaland has been done. Mr. Sarvanan Sokhubaji is there, he is sitting there. I would like to thank him and congratulate him to give the solution to the people of Nagaland. He has also, the Ayush hospital in Kohima has also been inaugurated. One Ayurvedic college will be developed worth rupees 70 crores in long length, that we have to understand. A new medical college in Kottonmo's backward and farthest district will be there. As we all know that Antode is our spirit, Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana. 4,000 artisans of Nagaland have been rewarded and they have been supported. Ayushman Bharat giving a family health coverage to 10 crore 75 74 lakh families, 2.3 lakh eligible families are from Nagaland who are getting 5 lakh rupees health coverage every year. Year by year, that we have to understand. In Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, where 3 crore 60 lakh houses have been built, 55,000 houses have been built in Nagaland also. When I talk about and when I talk about 
the toilets, the izzat gun, the life and dignity, 11 crore toilets have been constructed. And in Nagaland, 1 lakh 50, 40,000 toilets have been constructed. In Pradhanamandri, Gareeb Kalyana and Yojana, food is being distributed to 80 crore people. And I would like to inform you that 14 lakh beneficiaries are from Nagaland. If I talk about Ujjwala gas correction, 9 crore cylinders have been distributed. 65 thousand cylinders have been distributed in Nagaland. Friends, in the end I would like to share with my work. That we have to remember Modi ji's seven sutras for the BJP worker. The first sutra is Seva Bhav. We should work with the intention of service. The second intention of the second sutra is Santulan, means balance. We have to develop a balance. The third sutra is Sayyam. That means we should have control on ourselves. We should be our posture should be, it should be controlled and we should have patience, we should have sanctity. The fourth sutra is Samanvay. That means we have to maintain a, a, a uniformity and balance between this, all sections of the society. The fourth is Sakaratma, the fifth is Sakaratma, which means positive. And the sixth means Samvedna. Samvedna means that we should have feeling for the other. We should always take care of, about others. And the last and the seventh is Samvar, which means communication. If our workers go by these seven sutras, the party is going to grow and go further ahead. Friends, the Modi's dream is big. He wants that in short span of time we should do maximum service to the nation and keep him for that factor. It is I appeal to my workers that we have to rise to the occasion, we have to work for that and we have to see to it that we become the part of this historical change which is taking place under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi and see strong in India, healthy India, developed India and developed India that one I would like to say and always work with the same of Friends, in the end, once again, I would like to congratulate the President of the Party in Nala, our Deputy Chief Minister, Mr. Wright Patton, all my ministerial colleagues and Abhagiriji and also the party workers of Nagaland and Kohima who have really worked hard to make this office and I feel proud privileged to be a part of the inauguration of this uh, Bharti Janta Party magnificent office. I'll make a physical visit when I come to Nagaland. Once again, thank you for giving me a very good experience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir, Deputy Madhashiva National President, for enlightening us with your PowerPoint presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Hello, 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 hello.